welcome back to the channel it's your girl miss Quinita Charnel and this is part two of my DIY flower wall first things first make sure you are subscribed to your girl's channel honey I need them subbies the minute you subscribe we are a family we are a team we are a tribe and in order to make sure my tribe is taken care of make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm sure it's floating somewhere around here Okay, number two, make sure that you share this video, like this video, and please comment on this video. I want to make sure that I'm hearing from you guys and I'm getting all your requests. I'm answering all your questions, everything. Okay, besides, when you subscribe, it's free. <laughs> they don't charge you for it. So go and subscribe. Come on, join the team, join the squad, join the honeys, join the honeys. Okay, all right. <laughs> but let's get into it. So, this is my flower wall, and as you can see, this thing is huge, honey. I am five, four and a half. Okay, so I still have, I'm still not even touching the top of this, let alone touching the outside of this. Now, you're probably wondering, why did you make it so big? You know, is that something that you're going to keep forever? Yes, because this was one of the biggest DIY projects I have done in a very long time, honestly, at least one that I've actually recorded. And as much as I enjoy doing this, <sighs> y'all this is a time consuming project I was inspired by a couple people that I saw that made one on Instagram I saw a few on um, here on YouTube too I'll definitely tag the lady or the young lady that I got the majority of my inspiration from with the size how she hung it up and I'll tag that in the description box so shout out to her and I'll probably put her name like somewhere over here I absolutely love how this turned out love 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 how this turned out so you're probably wondering you know why did I make this well I create content so whether that's talking about business wellness development which is all about what I talk about on my Instagram page I want to kind of a different background maybe I don't want to be outside maybe I don't want to be just be by a plain wall so I want to have the option of having this as my background it can also be a money maker how you're probably thinking, how are you going to make money off of this? People could possibly ask me to make this for them. You show the versatility. I could rent this out. I could um, like rent it out for like a, a photo shoot, um, a wedding, a party, pretty much anything. So that's one reason why I want to make this the best way that I can make it. Number two, I made this because I wanted a different way to incorporate my brand colors without just wearing the colors or having it randomly in the background anything like that so my brand colors personally are burgundy and gold you may not be able to see the gold in the wall because i didn't want to necessarily use gold flowers i thought that was kind of cheesy so what i did do though is i put burgundy flowers all throughout the wall but i also incorporated yellow which kind of gives the gold vibe once you now that you know what my brand colors are so you see that throughout the wall top to bottom you see the burgundy you see the gold so if I ever decide I want to start you know selling merchandise or if I ever want to sell products I have an intricate background that matches what I have to offer without looking real matchy matchy or real cheesy okay so that's the main reason why I created this I love doing DIY projects but I also wanted to be intentional so I know I was going to use this on my Instagram page. I know I was going to use this obviously for YouTube, when we, maybe when I do chit chats, different things like that. So it's not like this is heavy, but I can't roll it up and take it with me or roll it up and ship it somewhere. I absolutely can do that. Y'all are probably wondering how much this costs. Baby, <laughs> let me get my receipts, okay? These <laughs> are all the receipts that I have from making this wall, okay? So let's just start off here. This is not a cheap project if you are on a very, very tight budget. The way that you can cut costs, you do not have to make this wall as big as I did. If you want just a very slender wall, this is not gonna cost you half as much. But for this size, I spent around like 300, 350. Yeah, like 350 bucks. Not even gonna lie to you. Those came with all the flowers. That incorporates the fabric, that incorporates the glue sticks, that incorporates everything. I will say this, the majority of my flowers that I use for this wall can be found at the Dollar Tree. If you don't want to have 
your brand colors or you don't have a brand or a business or anything like that, then you can make this whatever you want to make it and you may not need to spend as much as I did. But looking at my receipts, I will say the most expensive thing flower wise were my burgundy flowers because I had to get those from Hobby Lobby. It says roughly about 28 flowers. So I can believe that because part of the ones that are on here, I do have a few left over that I did not use that I want to actually use in my office space, which is what I'm trying to build is a home office. I wanted to make sure my brand color is in my home office as well. 28 flowers, some of them had more than one bloom on them. I guess you could say 28 stems, and then some of them had three to four flowers on each stem. So I kind of lucked out by getting flowers or stems that have multiple buds. I spent about 90 bucks on these flowers. Y'all know Hobby Lobby is not cheap. I don't care what kind of little deals and specials they try and tell us about and show us. And that's the one thing I want to stress about this project too. With getting your flowers from the Dollar Tree, you get more bang for your buck. So you get a flower. Let me show y'all. Hold on one second. It's red, but for the sake of this example, this is what I had laying around. This came from the Dollar Tree. This one bouquet costs one dollar, right? But there's one, two, three, four, five, six blooms on this one stem. Stop buying flowers that just have one flower on each stem because you're literally paying a dollar for one stem, really one bud, because that's all you're using are these buds. If you're like me, if I gotta spend this much, I wanna get the bang for my buck. So even though I spent like around 350 for this wall, I still have flowers left over because there are spaces that I see in here that I probably need to fill in and I'll probably fill them in at a later time. Get your flowers at Dollar Tree. As you can see, these all look good. So don't feel like you gotta go out and spend as much as I did because you absolutely don't. The main thing when you're creating this, know what colors that you want to do. Don't go in there and just buy stuff willy-nilly and doesn't you don't even know what it looks like together. I know I wanted whites. I know I wanted peaches, I know I wanted pinks, I know I wanted um, yellow, and I knew I wanted obviously my brand color. I went into there, into the store, knowing or having an idea of what I wanted. I don't care if you get all the flowers together in your basket and you literally see how they look together. Like, as a matter of fact, that's what I recommend. Put all the colors of the flowers that you're thinking about in your head in the basket or hold them together in a big bouquet and see how they look. That is how you can tell how this is gonna look when you get ready to put this on your wall. We talked about the price, we talked about why I created this, and really, the flowers that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree were maybe these bigger, slightly bigger white ones, here and here. I got that from Ollie's. I don't know if everyone has an Ollie's, but here in Atlanta as well, as where I'm from at home in Ohio, we have a store called Ollie's. It's basically like a discount store. So they have a lot of discounted items and they happen to have a flower display. So I went through and got the flowers that I liked. But you can you can clearly and honestly get all your flowers from Dollar Tree. Even if you have to order them from Dollar Tree's website, which is why I left all the links to the flowers in the um, description, you can get everything from Dollar Tree. What you cannot get from Dollar Tree though is the green fabric. I had this fabric tagged so that you can see what it's called, see what it looks like, and you can buy it directly from Joann's. That's where I got it from. I used glue sticks, because I know someone's gonna ask me. I used one pack of regular size 50 glue sticks. I know that's probably hard to believe, but doing this entire wall, I used one pack of the regular size glue sticks in the um, high temperature glue gun. I also had that tagged in the other video as well. So honestly, that's really about it. We talked about why I made this. We talked about what uses that you can do for this. If this is something that you are considering making yourself, please be very mindful of your budget because it's very easy to go over your budget because I got excited with this, if you can't tell. I got but I stayed with it under 350. I think I was at like 348. Like I said, I didn't add up everything because there are some flowers that are over here that I didn't even use. And you're like, how many flowers did you use? Um, I don't know exactly. Obviously I used a lot, but like I said, a lot of my stems were $1 stems with six buds on them. Some of them even had eight buds. 
I don't know. You just got to do... Some people are going to use more. Some people could use less. It depends on how full you want this. If you, I mean, that that it kind of just depends on you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just got to do it. That's really about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more DIY projects, please let me know down in the description. Until next time, next time, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. My honeys, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.